Oh, hello there, modelers and YouTubers. And any other craftsperson who might be interested in uh, making their own uh, scenery and terrain. So, this is a final reveal of the model railway tunnel built from recycled materials. Um, this is not the final the final one, this is another version that I also built to show you the difference between how it looks when it started and the final the final result. So as you can see on the original one all the pulped paper that was all sort of mashed together and glued from the egg boxes onto a tunnel shape and then gradually just moulded in with, with the fingers just pushed in. Um, pieces of card cut out and stuck on to resemble stonework. They're not thick, you could actually put another smaller square in each one just to give it a bit more of the illusion of depth. So that's how it did look. As you can see it's just cardboard texture. You know, That's how it would look, I'm unpainted and unfinished. So here's the final one. There we are. I think it's got rather a nice finish on it. At least it resembles stonework to me, or rocks and terrain. Um, and that's just been built up gradually with layers of acrylic paint. You know, the key to this, I think, in these things is is patience. Just have some patience. You don't have to do it all at one sitting, which it won't happen anyway. Um, you know, I built this and I put it aside for months. I was working on other projects and on other work, and then um, I just I just add to it. You know, when the mood took me. Well, obviously, you, I, obviously, if you you know spent more time on it, you'd you'd finish them in a lot. Of, you know, in a much shorter period. Um, so that's the final result with all the washes and the weathering. It's toned down. I've put some, a few highlights of white and lighter grey around the, the stonework to give that illusion of light, depth and the shadow on there. Um, but I think that make quite a nice addition to to any railway, assuming it's the right scale. Um, and that just shows that, you know, you can also add the same techniques to, to virtually any other kind of uh, model scenery making, really. Let's move that there into the light. Um, so there we have it. Best thing to do is get your glue out, get your materials and just start making something. Don't worry about what it looks like or what you think others might think it, it may look like. Just just get stuck in there and try and make something. You might be supplied, you know, you might be pleasantly surprised what you with, with the results that you come out with. Okay, well thanks very much for for watching and staying with this little project. Hopefully there'll be more at certain points. But thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.